that's gotta be a sea bass. That's gotta be a sea bass. Yeah, buddy. Big old sea bass right there. Big old sea bass. Not that big, going back in. All right, they're still down there. We're going back down, folks. We're going back down. We're jigging for this sea bass. Finally, got another one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, with the sea bass. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty fish. It's a little tiny one. Like, these fish are absolutely gorgeous. Oh. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one, all right. Sea bass everywhere, folks. Sea bass everywhere. We're in 35 feet deep. Come on. Got it. Frick, these fish fight hard. Really, what a, what a freaking pretty, pretty, pretty fish, guys. It's number four. And all I do is, all I have is an epoxy jig on with an improved hook, single point hook. And I'm just kind of pounding this just off bottom here. Oh, you bugger. Got it. <laughs> knows he's knows he's hooked now. They fight so freaking hard, man. Probably why they call them sea bass. Hammering the sea bass. I don't know what the size is on these things, but. Would you look at the pretty colors on that fish? Look at those blues. Hopefully that camera's doing a good job of that. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. It's like a 14 incher. Back down she goes, and I'm using just a, an epoxy jig with an improved hook on it. Oh, I missed. Of course, I have one. My rod spun up, so I probably just dropped. Oh no, he's still on there. Freaking things fight rugged. Jeez, like that is a decent size one right there. I mean, that's pretty. I don't. I gotta check the slot limit. That one's uh, 15 and a half. Going back in. Drop back down here and we're just digging, we're spot locked. There's a couple rocks in the bottom. Oh. They like to hit it on the, the flutter down for some reason. About a thousand of them down there right now. Ooh. Oh. My goodness. These things fight so freaking hard. So freaking hard. Oh. 
Little scrappy one. Got him! Got him! Another. Another, another, another. All right, welcome guys to part two of the channel. It's uh, digging for black sea bass. We're out on, on Buzzards Bay here, and we're absolutely clobbering them. We got a huge school below me. There's uh, rocks below me. I'm running Live Scope Plus, and uh, we're hammering them. I have no idea what the limit is, so I'm releasing everything while the bite is good. And I have a three hour car ride home probably and I have no ice, so. But this is about the average size that we're catching here. And I've caught them before. I don't have gloves on. But there's a pretty, pretty fish right there. Going back in. That is definitely not a 16. Down he goes. Back down I go. Just change some of my live scope settings just so I could see him a little bit better and so you guys can see it a little bit better. But I have another set of fish that are 60 or so feet in front of me. Ooh, I had them and I just biffed the hook set. They like to hit it on the fall. Not really sure why. I mean, I guess they're bass. Oh, this could be a 16. Yeah, that's a big one, all right. Almost a keeper. So freaking pretty, folks. So pretty. Back in. Another drop and another fish, folks. Absolutely ridiculous. Ooh, he hit it on the fall. Why do they do that? I don't know why, but they really, really like hitting it on the fall. Like that. <sighs> Got another one. This is a small one or a really big one. I don't know how to tell. Yeah, I was gonna try to see if it came off. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Right where I wanted it to land. Right on the other school of them. They're literally separated by a, a rock, so. Just another sea bass. Trying to show you guys my screen here, but she's being difficult. She's being difficult. And dunk. That's so cool. <laughs> that one's slightly bigger. It's a slightly bigger one. I have a pair of gloves somewhere. Or I have a glove somewhere. 
Another one bites the dust. Pa. Can let it flutter. Rip it, let it flutter. Oh, it's in the fish's mouth. See, it actually stopped falling on that one. And I'm using a really heavy leader. I'm using the same setup I was using for striped bass earlier today. They don't seem to like care. Well, it looks like there's a lot more fish behind me, so I'm gonna let us drift back here. Yeah, 45 feet behind us here. So instead of letting us drift naturally, I'm just gonna power us backwards. That'll keep me in line with what I wanna do here. A lot of the fish are uh, hiding behind some rocks, which is what they do. Jeez, that one freaking thumped it. Oh my goodness. That was a thump. -um. Freaking fat Addy, right there. Woo! Shaboom. A 16 incher. Going back. They are destroying this thing. The old epoxy jig. Wow, that's that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Soon as soon as you feel that down hit, you gotta freaking set the hook, man. I could be using a high low rig and just double slamming these things, but. In goes another one. These all might be scup, because they're on the flats here. That's not a scup. I have to see this. And a big one. Oh yeah, that's a toad for sure. That's a toad for sure. Pow pow. Look at the size of that one right there. Pretty fish. Backflip. I'm gonna snap my freaking rod. Oh. So many sea bass. Well, thank you very, very, very much for watching, folks. Uh, black sea bass, new species to the channel, and they are an absolute blast. Like, they're slightly more fun than, I'm not gonna say it, more fun than Lakers. You're finding them pretty shallow. They hit super hard. And I've actually eaten them before, so they're super tasty. So, that's great. I didn't take any home today. I think I probably caught, probably caught a limit um, size-wise, like that 16 and a half. Only measured a couple of the bigger ones before I even took the tape measure out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do this again. Because it's only a two hour rip down here.